Well, I have to say, we're all in the holiday spirit, and tis the season for my husband to give me the greatest Christmas gift of all. Yes. Are you ready? I'm ready. For this edition of Valibur. Okay, Nicole, are you ready? So a hexagon. No, that's 10, huh? I hit you. <laughs> a hexagon is what? <gasps> well, isn't somewhere and 10 is like a J? <laughs> like went around a rhombus is a circle so then that means no sides is that your final answer do i get a hint well you oh. got it wrong no right tell me excuse correct. me no that was your answer <laughs> you said the same no absolutely not you guys tied oh, okay i swear i have to like yell it out the okay. first person to get this answer right wins this edition of bella brains are you guys ready Oh, can we really just say the gift that Nicole, when you and I first got married, right? The jewelry box Nicole got you. BFD. BFD. I, I don't know if we talked about it before, but the first gift yes, Nicole stole. ever got, which was so, you were always so thoughtful with your gifts, was, was a jewelry box, which everyone's probably like jewelry. Brian doesn't wear well, jewelry. Brian had this jewelry, so he needed a jewelry box. And then I put in the wrong initials. I put in... BFD instead of BLD. I thought his middle name was Floyd, not Lloyd. <laughs> but then if anyone knows what BFD means too, um, it's been a big joke in our <laughs> big, big family. How many sides does a rhombus have? A rhombus? Oh wait, a rhombus is a circle, right? Because I remember and was it chemistry or was it trigonometry where you have this metal thing that you put down and then you like went around a rhombus is a circle so then that means no sides is that your final answer did i get a hint there's no hints <laughs> i mean and i feel like rhombus like then people say robust and if they're talking about your bottom they would say that so it all makes sense if it's all round you're saying no sides no sides eh. shut up really <laughs> <laughs> I do like the idea that rhombus is related to robust, which is what you would say to somebody if they had a round bottom. You have a very robust bottom. I would love one. <laughs> what do you call a flat shape that has five sides? <laughs> shape five sides? Five sides. So, I mean, that's not a hexagon. Because that's not flat. Well, no, but if you draw, it's flat. Never mind. What do you mean a hexagon? No. Yeah, wait. So, uh, <laughs> this is too good. So, a hexagon. No, that's 10, huh? I hit you. <laughs> a hexagon is what? Well, isn't somewhere and 10 is like an edge? Oh, yeah. Heche? A hexagon? <laughs> a hexagon. <laughs> To the people out there, a hexagon is a shape with 10 sides. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Oh. No, it is not. Okay, wait. So, five. So, five. I know this. There's. Oh, Pentagon. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> uh, you guys tied. Oh, great. I swear I have to like yell it out. Yeah. Okay. You guys really do have to yell it out. This is a real competition. <clears throat> Battle, who's the smartest? I need that Bella chain. Bella brains I chain. That the Bella brains <laughs> chain. Okay. Are you guys ready? The okay. first person to get this answer right wins this edition of Bella Brains. Are you guys ready? How many square faces does a cube have? Go! Cube, it has a um, four, and then another four, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. <laughs> six, yeah. four, and then one and one. Bella Brains winner once again. In your face. I was thinking eight. Hey, <laughs> well, if you're really in the Christmas spirit, you would actually give me the Bell Brains show. No, absolutely not. You have See? to earn it. Okay, Grinch. Whatever. Grinch. 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 You're a Grinch for asking that. How? That's so rude. I just earned it. Girl. Oh my gosh, Barmageddon. Thank you everyone. If you don't know yet, Barmageddon was the biggest premiere for the USA Network in three years. Broke records. We had incredible numbers. 
um, not only in viewership, but also in social media. Also, everyone has given me amazing reviews and has said the most incredible things about me as a host. I can't even tell you all what that has meant to me. I think this is where we also can see the power of social media when it happens in a positive way because people have been saying so many positive things about me as a host. And so articles have been written. It's gotten back to everyone. I already feel so honored to be a part of the show with Blake and Carson. Like, right. so grateful they chose me and they're putting their blood, sweat, and tears in this. And I'm just so thankful to be a part of the ride. It's become a success and I'm so grateful to be a part of this success. As you know, it takes a village to put this together. Tell me, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? Ooh, that's that's good. It's a day-to-day -day question. What do you want to do with this one we only get one wild and precious life. You know, everything can seem so tame and so sanitized in this world. And that's really hard on me. You know how hard it is for me in like cities and all that kind of stuff. It's hard for me to be in like all these like box shapes, buildings, and it all seems so sanitized. But just the reminder of how wild it is and the beauty of nature everywhere, even in the cities, the indication of it being wild mm -hmm. is that it could end at any second. Right in the same sense that a deer could just be going about its day and either get eaten or get shot. And you don't know when your last okay. second is. And all of those little things are precious. Yeah. And that's one of the things, what are you gonna do with this one wild and precious? Right? All right, and make sure to keep tagging us at the Bellas Podcast because we are loving all of your photos with all of our merch and we want to post them and show everyone how amazing you look in them and how much fun you're having. That is exactly right.